Welcome everyone to one more session in Lead Code Solutions tutorial series. In this particular session, we are going to look at the problem shuffle string. But before we move on to the solution of the problem, let me remind you of Edignite NGO Discord server. This server has been created to solve your doubts as well as give important updates on the topics related to IT field. So, do join this particular Discord server from the link given in the description below. Additionally, uh, the code, the code that has, that is solved over here will be posted on the Discord server. So, do join it and do share it with maximum of your friends to ensure more and more participation. Now, coming back to shuffle string problem, okay, I have actually copied the problem and I, I, I have copied it to whiteboard, okay. So, let us go to our whiteboard and over here, over here, let me, let me just uh, read it. You are given a string S, okay, and an integer array indices of same length. The string S will be shuffled such that the character at the ith position moves to indices i in the shuffled string. Okay. So, over here this will be our input. Okay. This will be our input and we need to pass this string as our output. Okay. We need to pass this string as our output. Okay. So, what can be done? So you see over here as C is at position 4. Okay. So, over here in the new string C will be actually at index 4. Okay. This is indices array and this is a string. Okay. And now for O is 5. Okay. The corresponding we can say corresponding number to O is 5. So, O will actually be at index number 5 and so on. Okay. So, how to do it? Okay, how to actually do it? It's really very simple. Okay, first of all, first of all, we just need to need to convert. Okay, first, first of all, we need an array. Okay, we need an need a character array. So, let me just write character array. Let me write character array of size uh, of of size which is similar to s okay so over here i will just write n is equal to n is equal to s dot size okay and we need a character array a character array of size n we need a character array of size n okay now we can just loop over each and every element okay so for i from from 0 till end okay from for i from 0 till end first of all we can have an integer which is index i n d okay integer which is index i n d okay i n d which will be equal to i n d will be equal to indices of i indices indices of i okay and arr index okay ARR index. So, element at I and D index, I and D at index will be equal to S of I. Okay. So, this is so simple. You see that now we have rearranged, we have actually rearranged all the characters. Okay. But now we need to convert this array into string. Okay. We need to convert this array into string. So, what we will do? Okay, we will we will just have a two string function or we can what we can do is we can just have an empty string. Okay, we can have an empty string. So, st, st which is an empty string. Okay, so we can just write for i from from 0 till end 0 till till end. We can concate each and every character in the string. Okay. So, st, st will be equal to st, st plus arr of i, st plus arr of i. And you will see that the string will be concated and at last we can return, we can return string. Okay. We can return string. So, this is the whole code. Okay. This is the, this is actually the pseudo code. Okay, for uh, for our problem. 
so let us now move to our problem okay let us move to our problem and code the solution over there okay so first of all first of all what we need to do is first of all we need to create an array okay we need to create an array so let me just write let me just write un int okay int n int n equal to indices 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 dot size okay indices dot size now after uh, declaring the size after declaring the size let me bring it over here so that the document gets formatted okay now let us create an array okay we can create a character array rr of size n okay now let us create a for loop int i equal to 0 okay i less than n okay i less than n that is indices obviously indices and string both of them will have same size okay then i plus plus okay i plus plus now let us write int i index int index int index okay and over here we have declared index over here and we will write index index will be equal to indices indices i okay indices i and arr index okay arr index will be equal to s of i will be equal to s of i okay so it's that simple and now what we can do is we can write string ans string ans equal to two string two underscore string two underscore string and we can pass arr over here now we can create a function two string okay let us now create a function that is two string so let me just create it above okay so over here string string two underscore string two string and we need an integer array right over here we we have got an integer array okay so let me just let me just pass the size also of this of array okay let me pass size and over here over here let me pass the address actually of the array care star arr and int n okay int n that is the size of the array okay or let me just write size over here so that you don't get confused okay so care star arr and size and now let us create a string an empty string okay string s equal to a blank string okay it will it will be a blank string and now for int i int i equal to 0 i less than i less than i less than size and i plus plus i plus plus st will be equal to oops, sorry s will be equal to s plus s plus arr arr of i okay arr of i and over here we will return s return return s okay now this will be two string and over here we will return return ans ans okay we will return ans now let us run the code and check if it works okay it has been accepted okay it has been accepted and now let us submit the code okay let us now submit the code and look okay so over here you see it's a success so this was about shuffle the string problem solution that's it for this particular session let's meet in the next session thank you everyone